Good morning. It is April 8th and welcome to Choose Life. Guess what? We get to do it with the Holy Spirit. Um, he's such an awesome help. Um, I mean, can you witness it? I mean, some of us, we are just being born. Some of us have been born for years living and we're not doing this thing alone. So that's one thing I want you to proclaim over today. I'm not alone in this life, but we can choose this life to live and it's worth living. Um, before we begin, I will just, just admonish you, if you can, like and subscribe. Um, even uh, um, for Pastor Gina, we love spreading the word of God and his loving character. So just by any means, just just press that like button wherever it is on your screen and just enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit with me. Um, before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Kevin Scott. I'm just honored by Pastor Gina for choosing and allowing us to come and serve um, with you um, as long as uh, with everybody else. So even just from this video, just don't look at mine, just enjoy all of them. If you could go back and look at the other previous videos, go ahead and just enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Today, we are talking about keep pressing into change. Um, hands down, this is a beautiful thing. Change is a beautiful thing. Sometimes it does look ugly. Some things we, we may get bigger. Some of us may have gotten wider. Some of us may have gotten skinnier. But the thing is, it's a beautiful thing because guess what? The Holy Spirit is working in us. And guess what? I'm learning even in this life, me being 32 years, I have no control over this. I have some control over just yielding my self to the Holy Spirit, but even from the physical nature, like this beard and everything, if I just let it just grow without cutting it, it's going to cause changes in my life. So that's one thing I want us, even myself, to just grab a hold today that change is inevitable. We cannot stop this thing, but it has to keep going. Um, but before we begin reading, um, let's just pray. God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, that you're here in our midst. We pray, God, that you will constantly, constantly be just the joy of our lives. We thank you for salvation, God. We thank you for your spirit that is with us, oh God, and that causes every situation to be beautiful, Father. I thank you, God, that you are the source of our strength, and God, and you are the strength of our life, oh God. We look up to you this morning, God. We acknowledge you, God, even as Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, God. We acknowledge you this morning, and we ask you to lead and to guide us throughout this day, God, even as we change, Father. I thank you, God, that even that we'll embrace, God, the ugly parts of us, God, that you will even use for your glory, Father, that, God, you said that those that are called according to your purpose that love you, Father, all things are working for their good, Father. And I thank you, God, even in this change and all the things that have happened to us, things that are about to happen to us, you know what it is, Father. But, God, we place we our faith in you. We believe we place our belief in you. We place our trust in you, Father. And we say, continue to lead our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to read this to you and then we'll go over some scriptures and then we'll close out in prayer. So God, we thank you. Even as it says, keep pressing into change. Change is a process. It it often is an ugly process. As I'm changing you from glory to glory, it's likely that things will look worse before they look better. Don't stop the process, but things when things look ugly, don't run away from what I'm doing in your heart. Keep partnering with me to work out the change you want to see in your life. If you keep pressing in for the change I'm leading you into, you will come out on the other side with new gratitude, new perspective, new effectiveness, new blessings, and much more. And remember, you'll never stop changing as long as you are in your physical body. We just said that. Embrace my work in your life. It is not always fun, but it's worth it. So if you can, let's go to 2 Corinthians 3.18. I'm going to go to verse 17 before this, and it says, now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Verse 18, it says, and we all who are, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord who is spirit. So you ever ponder like, okay, God, how does, how is this all happening? Like, I mean, some of us, we have been three years old and I can say I'm not in this three-year-old body. I have grown 
It's both height and width, but at the same time, it's all because the fascination of God's glory. Can you say with me, I am the glory of God? It's like we have been made in his image and in his likeness. That says we say that and it says that in Genesis, but how does that all happen? It's all from his working. We have no control over this thing, but he's causing us to even be transformed, grow with, and even in our mindset, things are changing. I don't have a three-year-old mindset anymore. I'm 32, as I just said, and, it, and things have more responsibilities, more um, just delegations of things on my life that have caused me to change as I yield my life to the Holy Spirit. Let's go to Job 22 and 21. It says, submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. I mean, even in that, if you think about it, submit to God. We just said, I have no control over this. Let that be a statement alone that God, I place my life, everything into your control and I submit. That's all we can do. It's nothing more we can fight. But at the same time, it says, and, and be at peace. This peace that even as it says in the word, when we keep our minds in Christ Jesus, he will keep our minds in perfect peace. This peace is unsearchable, it's unexplainable, but it keeps us in these hard times. Yes, we're going through these COVID. Yes, we're going through um, all these things that have taken place even prior to this very day. But for us, it's like he's allowing to keep our minds in peace because we're keeping our focus with him, knowing that he's with us, knowing that he's walking with us, knowing that he's leading and guiding us to what we are called to do in this present earth. But we got to always remember that he is our focus. And then we're going to Romans 12 in verse 1 and 2, one of my very favorite scriptures. And it says, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and prove and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. And I just said a moment ago, how do I do this? I'm learning in every situation, every single moment to give thanks. In Thessalonians 5.18, it says, in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God concerning me. He just wants thanksgiving. He gave us this life. He gave us this home. We gave, he gave us all the clothes, whatever it may be. He may even take him, take him things from you even from me. There's been things that God has stripped away from my life that I could put my focus more on him and realize I'm only making it through this life from every word that he spoke, every um, dream that he even gave to me, every vision that he gave to me, every transformation about for me, um, even as I slept, even as I sleep, because things happen even when better. I think better when we are asleep. But um, going back to what I was saying before, the mindset of being a three-year-old and now I'm a 32-year-old individual. My mindset had to change. And even around that time, as I got older, I remember I had a fear of dogs. I had a fear of anything, that even birds. <laughs> and um, just recently, presently, we are trying at my home to get rid of birds in our vent, in our dryer vent. And I'm like, oh God, I'm just, you know, this is something I'm scared of. But that fear was brought to me even when I was age five and six. I don't know if any of you recall the movie Birds. I saw the movie and literally since that day, I have embraced the fear of being afraid of birds. Now, yes, they can be in the trees, but let that thing be this close to my face and you will see a whole nother character of Kevin Scott. But now it's like, okay, God said to me, okay, you're the leader of this home. You're a father, you're a husband. Now, how are you going to get these birds out of your house? Now, yes, I can call someone to go do it for me, but at the same time, there has to be some initiation for me being a man, uh, the leader of this home that, that allows protection. But again, remember, I'm only doing this with the Holy Spirit. I cannot allow myself in my mind to think these birds are only coming out of this house because I'm putting my physical nature into getting them out. I'm literally allowing my mind to yield to the Holy Spirit that says you can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. Now, I have attempted. Now, this is the very thing I want to say to you also. It's not that God gives us these tasks to accomplish all the, all the time just 
to say, I, just to prove that, hey, you can do it. Sometimes he just wants to see and show you that you are able to try. Sometimes all we have to do is try to change. It says from the title it says, keep pressing into change. This change mindset is not, it's a process. It's, a, it's an ugly process. Even from me going outside today and just really trying to even reach inside that hold of dry vent in our house, there is a fear in me of even shaking, knowing these things could just fly out. The birds like are on guard on the trees. Look at the, I've seen so many things from Woody the Woodpecker, this thing just flying down right at you. But I'd embrace God, you're with me. The Holy Spirit is with us and he's allowing us to see the change that he's causing us to do, even in our very present moments. But we can't forget that he's with us. Those very moments, you have to acknowledge him. And as, as I said earlier, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, we acknowledge him all our ways and he will direct our path. These paths, sometimes as all for his name's sake. Yes, it may feel like fear is just right there. It may feel like no one is around to encourage you like rah, 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 you can do it. But you got to realize he is every time, every moment, every situation, he's there present with you. And we must always remind our minds, be renewed in our minds that we're not alone in this. And then even for that, he gives us the power to do the very task that we have before us. So even with us, we can constantly say to ourselves, I can do this. I'm changing. I'm embracing a new mind. I'm embracing a new attitude. And even as I said in the book, new gratitudes of living, a new perspective. I have a new perspective to birds just in me trying to get them out of my house. It's not that, hey, I'm, that I see them as much larger, but in my mind, it's something I can handle. It's something I can accomplish just because I tried. I'm going to say to you today, try to change. Try to do something that even will cause the Holy Spirit to be your help. And that allows, and when I love how the word says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. If you step out on something that um, is unlikely that you can't do and you know you need his help, that's how you will know he is present with you. Um, anything else? As far as with just even the word alone, keep changing, keep pressing into change. There's a pursuit after this thing. Just don't do one thing. Keep going after this thing tomorrow, next year, the next month, because what happens is it causes us to constantly rely on the Holy Spirit. I believe Jennifer LeClaire, even as you see it, so many prayer and her prayer life and even the ministry that she has, it all became on her pursuing change. And even for us, we're changing just because the presence of the Lord is in our homes. But we have to always remind ourselves that he's with us. Is He's not here to harm us. He's not here to cause us to um, fall away and just run away from his presence. Don't run away from those situations. Embrace them. I mean, full heartedly. You're talking, you're looking at someone that jumped out of a plane. And I mean, like, literally, there's no time for you to try to change your mind when you're up literally 10,000 feet in the air. It's literally you're getting out of this plane and jumping. So I'm going to tell you, encourage you, jump out on faith, jump out on the Holy Spirit and watch. He's going to lead you into so many different changes in your life just for his glory. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you, God, for your word. We thank you, God, for allowing us to choose life, that you are expanding our life even in these moments with you, Father. That, God, even from, even as I said, age three to even now, God, fears and all these different perspectives that we had at a time being, Father, in this very present moment, we don't have anymore. Thank you, God, for, as you said in your word, to be thankful for everything, for this is the will of God concerning us, oh God. And we just want your will, Father. We want your will in our lives, oh God, even as that dear sister, to care and share, Father. The, the perfect will of God is the safest place, oh God. We want your will, Father. Allow us to find a safety today, oh God, in Jesus' name, Father. I thank you, God, that these are those that will look on to this video, Father, that will, God, they will experience change and they will experience a winner's mindset, Father. They will experience gratitude, Father. They will, God, it may even experience failures, Father. But God, we know there is no failure in you, Father. But God, 
Allow them to pick themselves up and to still try again, Father. Allow them to say before, I didn't want to do it before, but this time I tried, Father. This time I tried with your spirit. I tried with your ability, your power that you've given me, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And I thank you, God, that you shall get the glory, Father. You shall get the honor. You shall get the praise, Father. And God, even the more our relationship with you, our mornings, Father, as you said, God, if weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning, Father. And here we are in the morning, the morning of your presence, oh God, the morning of you saying you love us, the morning saying that we are going to do this life with you, Father, in Jesus' name, Father. Thank you that you call us to triumph over everything, God, and that the enemy is a defeated foe, Father. Thank you that all whispering ears and all lies and rumors, God, of all the past situations are dissipating out of our minds, Father. But God, we choose to speak life, oh God. We choose to embrace life. And God, even in this life, oh God, we embrace change, Father. Be glorified and be lifted high in Jesus' name. Be glory to him. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life.